In hospital L-O-B-B why night suddenly a new group enters the hospital the hospital sits in oppressive silence until a sudden flash of white light fills the room for new explorers Lucas Sarah Kate and Nathan step through the entrance dressed in tactical gear with advanced ghost hunting equipment their demeanor is calm focused and professional Unlike the first group, they are here for a specific purpose. LUCAS commanding all right team. We've got the history of this place, but now we need hard evidence. Stay close, stay sharp. We're not here to play ghost hunters, we're here for answers. Each of them switches on their headlamps and the beams. Cut through the dust and shadows of the decayed lobby. Lucas checks his EMF detector Sarah, readies her thermal camera while Kate reviews a map of the hospital layout. Focusing on the basement, SARH looking at her thermal camera temperatures already dropping. Feels like the place is reacting to us. Kate studying the map the basement. That's where the last recorded activity from the other group was picked up. Nathan grinning you mean where they vanished without a trace of Sara. Teasing, Nathan taking a step back yeah. Sounds like it's saying, turn back, think we should, help us, free us. Suddenly, a loud clang rings out from behind them they all jump and spin around. But the hallway remains empty. Just stretching into the shadows, Lucas serious. Pulling out his recorder when not alone. They arrive at the entrance to the basement, the door creaking loudly as they open it. A cold, foul-smelling gust of air rushes out. Lucas steps in first, scanning the area with his EMF detector cape, looking around. Uneasy this place, feels wrong. It's like the air's heavier. As they descend, their equipment begins to malfunction thermals. Flicker radios emit harsh static and the emf spikes dangerously high sarah panicking holding her thermal camera the signals are distorting something scrambling our gear they enter the surgery room where rusted medical tools are scattered across tables and a thick layer of dust covers everything the walls are cracked and a strange humming energy fills the room Blood stains from long ago remain on the floor. Nathan looking around and oh this is it, isn't it? Where they perform the experiments are a shuddering yeah. The place they say the patients never left. Suddenly the shadowy figure from the mirror grotesque and twisted. Emerges at the far end of the room. Its limbs contort unnaturally as it moves toward them. Sarah gasping their film it. Now, we need everything on record. Kate raising her camera with trembling hands. It's, it's not human. The dark figure's hollow eyes seem to devour the light around them. Nathan takes a step back, but his feet get stuck in a dark liquid that has started oozing from the walls. Nathan struggling, it's pulling me in. Someone helps dark figure reaches toward the team and the air hums with energy the whispers intensify becoming an overwhelming your voice how you see AAS desperately I don't know if this will work but we don't have a choice he activates the device and asterisk asterisk bright pulse of light shoots out pushing the dark figure back momentarily the whispers subside but not for long Kate stunned, what the hell was that Lucas breathless experimental tech? I didn't think it would actually work. Run, the team scrambles toward the door. Nighty burst out of the basement into the lobby, but it's no longer the same. The air is thick with a malignant presence, and the hospital moans around them. Lucas checks his equipment, which is now sputtering out. Lucas alarm, we're running out of time. Whatever's in here, it's not just a spirit. It's feeding on us. Kate firmly, then how do we stop it? What does it want? Sarah realizing it's not just us. There are others trapped here. 
their voices there pleading for help Nathan sarcastically. Great, now we're ghost therapists. Lucas pulling out a map the source of this power it's in the basement. We need to find the ritual that bound these spirits here. And undo it. Ward night they enter the patient ward. Where scattered ancient files lie on the floor. Kate notices a strange symbol carved into one of the walls. She pulls out a torn piece of paper from earlier and it matches the symbol. Kate excitedly this symbol it's part of a binding ritual. They didn't just experiment on patients here. They used this place for dark rituals. Suddenly the shadowy figure appears again and the walls began to close in Lucas's device flickers weakly and they can't hold the figure back much longer. They rush back to the basement the hospital creaking and groaning around them. Lucas sets his device down, triggering another pulse of energy that pushes the dark figure back. Kate frantically scratches the binding symbol off the paper with a shard of glass. The dark figure screams a horrible, ear splitting sound as it begins to dissolve into a dark mist. The whispers stop and the hospital falls eerily silent the group stumbles out into the night. Exhausted and battered but alive, the storm has passed, leaving behind a calm, eerie stillness. S.A.R.A.H. quietly, looking back is it really over Lucas holding his device. Now silent for now, but I don't think this is the last we'll hear of this place. They came seeking answers that found a truth darker than any legend. Some secrets are better left buried the camera lingers on the abandoned. Hospital still ominous in the night. In the distance, faint whispers begin again as the scene fades to black. Fade out. In the end, the story asks us to think carefully about the nature of truth, the mysteries of the past, and the courage required to face the unknown while cautioning against the hubris of assuming we can always control what we seek to understand some secrets, as the narrator reminds us, are better left buried.